Hi everyone! Today's lesson is on combining like terms. We started this before we left for our two-week virtual learning break, but I figured it'd be a good idea to review it a little bit before we move on. So, you're going to need a notebook um, or a piece of paper and a pencil to write down some example problems as we go through our lesson. Let's start with what are like terms? Does anybody remember? They are terms that have the same variable. So let's copy down some examples of like terms. Let me grab my pen. If I have the term 7x, a like term to 7x would be anything else that also has an x. So 3x would be a like term. 1 half x would be a like term. Anything that has the same variable. Okay, so let's practice combining like terms a little bit. We have two example problems here. I want you to write both of them down in your notebook. Number one, we have x plus 3x plus 5. We want to simplify this expression by combining the like terms. So in number one, what are the like terms that I can combine? It's x plus 3x. This is the same thing as 1x. If you want to write that 1 in there, you can. A regular x by itself is the same thing as 1x. So 1x plus 3x, that's 4x. Can we add the 5 to the 4x? No, because 5 does not have an x with it, so they are not like terms. 5 is called a constant, so we leave it on the side. And now my expression is simplified. These two expressions are equivalent to one another. In number 2, I have y plus y plus 10. I see one y, I see two y's. Those are my like terms. y plus y is 2y, and I can't add a y with a 10, so I just leave it 2y plus 10. That is my simplified expression. Okay, so right now we're going to try, I want you to try combining like terms to simplify these three expressions. So when I say so, you're going to pause this video and copy down these three problems and do them by yourself. And then you can play the video again to see if you got the answers correct. So right now, pause this video and copy down and solve these problems. Okay, so now that you've done these problems in your notebook, let's go over them together. Number one, I see an 8x plus a 4x. So if I simplify this expression, 8 plus 4 is 12. 12x, but I can't add the 9 with it because 9 doesn't have an x. So this is our answer, 12x plus 9. In number two, 12m minus 10m would be 2m, but then I also have another pair of like terms right here. I have 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4 is 12. And I can't simplify it any more than that because this is a constant and this has an m. In number 3, I have a y plus a 3y plus a 5y minus a 2y. So 1y plus 3y would be 4y, and then 4 plus another 5y would be 9y, but then 9y minus 2y brings me down to 7y. So let me combine these ones first. This was 9y, Whoop. then minus the 2y, Man, this pen is giving me trouble. Minus the 2y, that gives me 7y. But then I also have 18 minus 5. And I cannot add that to 7y, so I write plus 13 on the side. So 7y plus 13 is equivalent 
to this whole long expression. So we're just going to practice three more and we are going to determine for each one of these examples are the two expressions equivalent? Yes or no? So I have in number one, we can do number one together. I have x minus 7 and I have 7 minus x. Are those two expressions equivalent to one another? Can subtraction go in any order? The answer is no. These ones are not equivalent. So I want you guys to copy down numbers 2, 3, and 4 and try them right now in your notebooks by yourself. Remember to simplify your expressions by combining the like terms. That way you can tell if they're equivalent or not. Okay, so pause your video and then when you have your answers, hit play again so you can check. Now that you've done the work in your notebook, let's check our answers. 7x minus 3x would be 4x and then don't forget the plus 2. And then for our next expression, we have 3x plus x plus 2. And if we combine those like terms, we get 4x plus 2. So are these expressions equivalent to one another? The answer is yes, because when you combine the like terms, they equal the same thing. In number 3, I have 16y minus 8y plus 2y. Well, 16y minus 8y equals 8y, and then plus another 2y, this equals 10y. What about this one right here? Do you remember what operation a fraction is? It's division. So we're doing 40y divided by 4, and that also equals 10y. So are these two expressions equivalent? The answer is yes, they are. And then for number 4, I have 15w plus 6w minus 8. Well, 15w plus 6w would be 21w minus 8. Then for my second one, if I combine like terms, 15 plus 6 minus 8w. This is the only w, but I can combine 15 plus 6, which would be 21. Oop, 21 minus 8w. So are these two expressions equivalent? Is 21w minus 8 the same thing as 21 minus 8w? The answer is no, they are not equivalent. In this problem, we have 21w's and then we're subtracting 8. In this problem, we only have 8w's and we're subtracting it away from 21. So no, these are not equivalent. All right, now that you have finished this video, go check Google Classroom for your next assignment.